this easy target and let's take a first look at seasons I'm a little bit late I didn't realize it was starting so late it was like 7 o'clock that it started my time uh, yesterday so I'm getting into it a little bit later but let's take a look at it and see where we're at <clears throat> right off the main menu this is where I went when I first logged in it says the seasons have started down there on the bottom Got challenges leaderboards let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboards right now Season challenges, greater rifts. Nobody in there yet, huh? Top oh there we go. Top global. Of course people finished it yesterday and got on there. Alright, well there's that. Switch on over to the greater rifts section. We got people up at 69. Top players oh again you got to move around with your analog stick over here to move around the little circle wheel um, but we should have oh which doctor monk okay we got which doctor that's what I'm doing greater rift 70 by solos that shouldn't be too hard looks like that's the only guy that's getting primals if they're on the seasons on the consoles here assuming they are. Uh, I haven't seen anything about it though. Uh, what else we got here? Um, excuse me, I'm a little stuffy today too. I'm sniffling, sucking up boogers here. My bad. Um, but we got 70. I should be able to get that pretty soon. I just gotta level up my character real quick. It's the main issue. Um, I haven't even started anything yet. I just wanted to go first playthrough right now. Just the first impressions here. Pop back out. We got Wizard, Witch Doctor, Monk, Demon Hunter, Crusader. Alright, well, that's that. Um, I don't, I'm not into the uh, groups yet. Uh, I haven't played a lot of that even on console. I haven't really played a lot of that. But you got your conquests right there. Um, let's see what they are. Let's see. Oh, set dungeons. Eight. Oh my god. It says hard forward mode, but you can do this. Probably another one that's going to be Five solo with full bonuses of six. Okay, so you just got to go through this. Some of these conquests are required to get up on your um, um, seasonal journey, but um, you don't have to do all of them. It's usually, it's about two that you have to do to get your full set or even the uh, stash space. Um, anything else looking new? Nope, let's go ahead and uh, jump into creating a character here. Switch character. I'm going to say create character. And there we go, there's the new things. Create a seasonal character, not hardcore. I don't want hardcore. I want to make sure it's a witch doctor. I'm going to do a male this time. I got to accept it. Come on. There we go. Accepting. Alright. Jiggle Wiggles. That's what I'm going to call him this time. Jiggle. Jiggle. How do you spell jiggle? Jiggle. Wiggles. My stuff's always spelled wrong. Wiggles. Jiggle wiggle. Jiggle wiggle. There we go. That's how we're going to spell it. Mr. Jiggle wiggle for season 10. First time on console here. Uh, going into the game. Uh, good thing I clicked on the wrong thing there. Ooh, I headed back out. I was actually in the wrong section there. Um, here's Seasonal Journeys. Alright, Chapter 1. Um, what do we got here? It's just the normal stuff. Like, you get this just from playing the game. <clears throat> that shouldn't be too hard at all right there. Uh, then the second one, they're locked, not showing you anything. Um, so we just started the game. We'll, we'll bust out a lot of these right away. I guess once you're level 70, then pay attention to this more. Um, game settings. I'm going to be in adventure mode. Screw the campaign. Don't want to be playing on there. You can select your act. It doesn't really matter too much. But difficulty, I'm going to put on master for right now. I'm going to start up my game. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, controls, too. Um, using the controls and the... PlayStation or a console version is a little bit different. Uh, you push the touchpad 
Um, if you push the left or right, if you push the right one, it goes straight to skills. But if I back out and I push the left touchpad, it goes straight to inventory. Um, just a little quick reference right there. As you can see, my my weapon is level three. But if I come on over here, man, it moves so slow. I hate leveling. Um, but I love doing the grind afterwards. But you come over to your follower. Go ahead and pick them up, I guess. You can't look at their the inventory like you can on PC, but you have to equip them first. Uh, it's good to have them with you anyways, but go ahead and click here, click your right touchpad, and then go over to followers, R1, R1, and then if you look at their weapon, they have a level 6 weapon already. So go ahead and take that off of her. I got to uh, unequip it with L3, clicking in on the stick there. Um, I'll go over to my inventory, boom, pick that sucker up, back over to follower, and I can't even give her my weapon. Double check and see what these guys have real quick. All over 7.2. I'll take that sucker. Thank you very much. And what do you got? You can use everything. Which doctors can use even bows? 7.7. .7. Look at that. I think I'm going to go ahead and take that from him. Alright, so now we got a 7.7 .7 bow. Let's go ahead and come over here. We're going to go look for a boss. Go look for a boss. Get some quick little loot real quick. Quick little. Quick little. Loot. Can't even say it right. Quick little loot. Uh, I'm gonna find an easy boss real quick. Um, act one. What do you got here? I got. I want to go to a fast boss. You get a cage box, or not a cage box? You get a um, a chest that you can go ahead and get some gear out of. I want something cool. There we go. <coughs> And it's a bounty, so that's not too bad. I'm run on over here. Fight this guy up real quick. We basically have no abilities right now. The scoundrel's fighting with his bare hands. Alright, here we go. Keep starting up. Okay. Have abilities, not have any abilities, and he is useless if he has no abilities here. But, I cannot do that. chest over here. Pick up this chest. The nice thing is over here, it's nice to have it, you press up on your uh, d-pad and it shows you your different gear that you've gotten. So you can just equip it right away. So I can just say uh, equipped. Push up again. Equip. Like a lot of this stuff I don't have. So I'm going to say equip that and automatically put it to my X. I'm going to push X. Equip that. We don't have it. That one looks like better so it's automatically changed over. So I guess a little bit of upgrade. Um, offhand, don't need it. I'm just gonna say junk it. So you can just—that's quick access. That's a nice little feature for the console players that I didn't mention on my first video, actually. Um, so now I'm gonna go back to town. I need to go back. <coughs> so I got a little bit of gear. Um, I'm gonna show a couple things that are on here. Um, I never went over with them on my original um, video that I had. But you got the armory here now, and you come out in here, and you can set up to five different uh, presets, basically. So now you don't have to switch between different builds. So you got your different uh, Zunimasa, you got the uh, Jade Harvester set. Now you can just save it, and you can instantly swap. It swaps all your, your gems, uh, legendary gems, it changes all your abilities, all that stuff. It changes it right away for you. You don't have to go dinking around in your stash. Um, trying to find out where's this, where's this, where's this, especially on the console because it's hard. It kind of hides itself in the menu system. 
Uh, one downside to the console is, th is that the menu system is a little wonky with that. Going through your inventory here, you have to go to each little subcategory on here. Um, but <clears throat> that makes things a lot easier right there. Um, other than that, that's a nice addition. Um, whenever you're starting to get legendaries, there's a book right here. If you didn't know about it, to those new to the uh, Diablo in general, you come to the book, um, discover all your gear. You don't have to do it one at a time. Uh, you want to level up this guy first. Go through here. Go to train. Once you start getting the gold, you can just level them up. I had like 20 something. Uh, you want to craft um, your own weapons. I think it's 20 something and then also you can get your cane set by getting a schematic for it that'll give you bonus experience for leveling up um, what else we got around here this is the mailbox system Ooh, looks like they may have disabled it for seasons all right so mailbox is disabled for seasons uh, Kadala this girl right here will waste your blood shards she'll never give you what you want um, sometimes she'll finally give it to you whenever you're not expecting it uh, this is for the rifts right over here. You start on this. You got the um, the normal rifts, or you got your greater rifts. Watch out for which ones you do. Um, if you're switching over from PC to empower one, you have to push the triangle button, and then that will enable you to empower it. That'll give you more chances to upgrade your legendary gems later on down the road once you're doing greater rifts and stuff. Um, and it's kind of cool because it, you can do like little presets they try to make it easier for you to do uh, last played select your level um, or the highest achieved you can just go instantly up there versus scrolling through all of the, all the different things um, other than that what else? I'm just scanning the area real quick uh, I like having the enchantress on so I'm just going to put her on real quick um, I'm going to take this guy's quest yes, just so I have it Get his little book. Oh, look at that! It that me up. That fool actually killed me. Of course, this was not right. my first Eric time stepping right through that door. Um, and I imagine it won't be my last. Lastly, you come to your skills here, and you go over to your paragons. And later on down the road, this will help you out. But whenever you come in here, you click X, and you want to put your points into one of these categories. Normally, you just use your D-pad, and that. you go one at a time. Blah blah blah. If you press it and hold it. It'll just do one at a time, and it's just like click, 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 click. Um, but if you use your left analog stick and click the direction that you want to go, it'll just massively just load them all up in there. Uh, so that's a good way to level up some of your different um, Paragon points if you haven't used them or if you reset them. You don't have to do one at a time, which is very pain in the butt. So something to keep in mind once you get the Paragon points going. Um, and let's see here. How do we access? How do we access the seasonal journey in here? Something I'll have to look into. Oh, right there! You just press the uh, options button on the PlayStation controller. You get your seasonal journey. You can look at leaderboards, challenges, everything right in here still. All right, that's just about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. Go out there and have fun with the seasons and level up. Get that gear and let me know how you're doing.